The Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development is a global United Nations action plan for people, the planet and prosperity adopted by the UN General Assembly in September 2015. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals, so-called SDGs, illustrated here are political objectives of the United Nations that are intended to secure sustainable development at the economic, social and ecological level. The goals were designed in line with the development process of the Millennium Development Goals and entered into force on 1st of January 2016 with a term of 15 years until 2030. In our exercise, we will deal with one of more than 200 indicators on the 169 sub-goals. You may select an indicator which is of interest for you, be it poverty, hunger, land use, climate or others. Within this exercise, you may answer the following statements. In which direction does the selected indicator move worldwide? Which country has the greatest progress or regression relative to the indicator? Which region or continent on Earth presents itself as problematic or progressive? Or you may compare different countries with respect to the indicators. First, you have to select a meaningful statistical dataset on one of the SDG topics with temporal developments related to the national aggregation level. A comprehensive description of all indicators can be found in the United Nations database. Please read it carefully to understand the meaning of the indicator. After selecting your indicator, you may have to look on the data before downloading them. It should be in a tabular form with data for each country along the time period from 2000 until 2060. Next, a data set with the country borders worldwide is required. On the Open Data website, Natural Earth, you can find some matching vector data sets. Natural Earth is a publicly accessible map data set that is available at scales of 1 to 10 million, 50 million and 1 to 110 million and does not require permission for use. In our exercises, we are going through a processing chain from problem statement to result interpretation. In our documentation, we use either commercial software or as such as ArcGIS and Excel or open software such as QGIS and LibreOffice. After downloading the relevant data, we now have to prepare the data for processing and analysis. This includes checking for no data, checking for outliers in our data, and looking for some discrepancies in the data. And then you have to look for a common code to link the statistical data of the United Nations with the countries, the country data and the national border data set. Then you have to join these two data sets. Both data sets carry a common key. In the United Nations statistical data, it is called area code. And in the spatial data with the boundaries, it is called ISO N3. You have to take care that both codes are of the same format, a long integer. The join operator then merges both tables into one spatial table. Then you may do some spatial analysis according to the question stated in the beginning. And you may look at the temporary behavior of your indicator and do some time series analysis. After doing so, you may want to create a map of your results. Therefore, you have to select a thematic categorization and coloring scheme. On the right hand side, you see a thematic map illustrating the share of renewable energies in total energy consumption between 2005 and 2015. Our color coding scheme uses the idea of a traffic light, where red means danger equals negative development over the last decade, and green means you may walk, I, this means a positive development over the last decade. Your results should be presented in the form of a scientific paper of around 10 pages, following the rules of scientific writing. 
Your report should include maps and diagrams and you should interpret your results. OpenGU Edu is a joint project funded by the Federal Ministry of Transport and Digital Infrastructure as part of the Modernity Fund under the leadership of the Chair of Geodesy and Geoinformatics at the University of Rostock.